Hello friends, welcome to Magento Tutorials. In this video, we will learn the architecture of Magento. As a fresher, you don't know where to start the development. So here is the right place for you. First, you need to understand the architecture. Magento 2 having complex architecture, but still you can manage. I will provide each topic relates to Magento. No worries. Still, you want to any explanation on any specific topic, please add in the comment section. Okay, coming to the architecture. First, consider what are the technologies we are using and at least few of them we are aware of it. The technologies which you need to learn for Magento is HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, RequireJS, Knockout, Ajax, XML, PHP, MySQL. So, from HTML to XML, these are the front-end languages you need to learn uh, for the backend uh, and database, you need to learn PHP and MySQL. Okay, these are the technologies which we will use in Magento 2. Also, Magento 2 is a modular based system. So, in this system, you will create functionalities using modules. If you are working on large implementations, you can split that into modules and can solve the problem easily. For small change, depend on the requirement, you need to create a module. So, how Magento manage that? To understand that, first you need to learn the architecture. How it's made using different languages. Now I will show you a simple architecture of Magento 2. This is the architecture of Magento. So here you will find the layouts, templates, blocks, which is relates to the front end. These are the technologies that relates to these layouts, blocks, and templates. So you need to understand this CSS, less, okay, jQuery, require JS. So based on this, the front end will work. Okay, I will tell you in the later tutorials what is the layout, what is the templates, blocks, and the controllers. Okay, for example, if you consider any Magento website, all these are included, layouts, templates, blocks. Okay, with the help of these technologies, we will create these layouts, templates, and blocks. Okay, for example, if you have one form, using these templates, you will create that form. So when you submit that form, the controller will take that form data and need to insert some data to the database. Okay. So it will not be a direct case that controllers will directly connect to this uh, database. So where this models and resource model will take place. So here we have models and resource models. What models do? Model will fetch the information from the database. That too, that is not direct case. The resource model will take place in between models and uh, database. Resource models, we will provide one table information. So based on the table, we will get that particular uh, table information. So in the next video, we will discuss about uh, the folder structure of Magento 2. Okay. Thanks for watching.